The Major Dilemma Equivalence versus Conformality The cartographer wants any map to portray distances and directions accurately so that the sizes and shapes shown on the map are correct. However, such perfection is impossible, and so a compromise must be struck. Which to emphasize, size or shape? Which to sacrifice, shape or size? This is the central problem both in constructing and in choosing a map projection. The projection properties involved are called equivalence and conformality. Equivalence. In an equivalent projection, the size ratio of any area on the map to the corresponding area on the ground is the same all over the map. To illustrate, Suppose you have a world map before you and you place four dimes at different places, perhaps one in Brazil, one in Australia, one in Siberia, and one on South Africa. Calculate the area covered by each coin. If it is the same in all four cases, there is a good chance that the map is an equivalent projection. In other words, that there are equal aerial relationships all over it. Equivalent projections are very desirable because with them, misleading impressions of size are avoided. Equivalence is difficult to achieve on small scale maps because shapes must be sacrificed to maintain proper aerial relationships. Most equivalent world maps, which are small scale maps, therefore display disfigured shapes. Conformality. A conformal projection is one in which proper angular relationships are maintained so that the shape of something on the map is the same as its shape on Earth. It is impossible to depict true shapes for large areas such as a continent, but they can be approximated and for small areas, the true shape can be shown on a conformal map. All conformal projections have meridians and parallels crossing each other at right angles, just as they do on a globe. The outstanding problem with conformal projections is that the size of an area must be considerably distorted in order to depict the proper shape. Thus, the scale necessarily changes from one region to another. For example, a conformal map of the world normally greatly enlarges sizes in the higher latitudes, except for maps of very small areas, in other words, large-scale maps, where both can be closely approximated, conformality and equivalence cannot be maintained on the same projection and thus the art of map making, like politics, is an art of compromise. And that is equivalence and conformality. Have a great day.